crafters and makers look at the world in a different way. They let their surroundings influence their work and have a knack of spotting up and coming places. In Cities of Craft we meet these people and today I'm in Margate meeting furniture maker Zoe Murphy. She's going to show me around her city and her studio. Hey Zoe, thank you so much for having me in your studio. It's fine. I can't wait to see all your stuff, what you do. And you are, well, the back of upcycling, you like using furniture. Yeah, yeah how I would love you, How would you using... explain what you do? I screen print onto secondhand chest of drawers, sideboards, mm. things like that. And um, I use all imagery of my hometown, actually. Really, really kind of nostalgic Margate stuff. So we reline the drawers, put fabrics inside them or printed linings, and just put pattern and colour all over them. The kind of pieces that I make uh, in the studio are chest of doors like these and sideboards and side tables and things like that and um, it's all screen printed onto old pieces of furniture that we found. I re-veneer a lot of things as well and line the drawers when we're making a piece for somebody and all the patterns and the prints for the lid are based on Margate and growing up here. So I always like to include um, the harbour arm if I'm doing um, a chest of Margate drawers and also um, these are all the drawings that I did of the town and the way it kind of sculpts around uh, the seafront and then over here we've also got um, Dreamland, the cash bingo sign and uh, the big wheel that I grew up with and uh, used to visit when I was a little kid. So this is what I used to do all of the screen printing. Oh cool. My images, I've drawn all the illustrations of Margate, I get them exposed onto a silk screen and this, ex this is kind of like a mesh with lots of tiny mm -hmm. holes in and it's that which I sort of push all of the ink through and it prints the design on top of the furniture on the wood. And you're Margate based, are you Margate born and bred or are you, have you been Yeah, born in Margate Hospital, <laughs> went to school in the local schools and used to spend all of my time as a teenager on Margate High Street just kind of listening to the records in our price and things like that and playing on all the um, machines on the seafront, all the arcades and things. So yeah, yeah, I've been here a long time. So for people who've never been in Margate before, how would you describe the town? How would you sell your Margate? Oh, it's a really quite small but very, very sweet seaside town in uh, the southeast of England. Um, and it's been sort of famous for having a real heyday in the 50s and the 60s when everyone was coming on holiday from London, they'd come down to Margate. Mm -hmm. So you can see a lot of the influences around the town. But at the same time, there's a lot of incredible sort of Victorian and Georgian architecture, lots of old-fashioned B&Bs in huge, well, what used to be B&Bs in huge, great big buildings yeah. on the seafront, but also lots of um, kind of pushpenny arcade machines as well. There's a great big sandy beach and a tiny old town with loads of adorable little vintage shops and things like that. So it's got an element of cool about it, but also really, really lovely history as well. A great place to kind of walk around for a day. I would love to discover your Margate. What would be your favourite places, the places you find a lot of inspiration of? Well, you've got to go to Dreamland. That is one of my favourite places to be in Margate and it's the old theme park on the seafront but it's been reinvented last year and reopened and it has got loads of vintage rides, loads of new things going on down there, loads of kind of um, really old fashioned arcades and generally there, you know, you're just there to have a good time. So I definitely get down to Dreamland if you want a proper taste of Margate. I'm gonna go down now. Yeah, fantastic. <laughs> seeing all the patterns and the prints on them. They're really kind of, um, especially these ones are really vintage, and so the technique is quite um, crude almost. They would spray through stencils to get the patterns on. I love that, it's really yeah. kind of childlike, childlike looking. It's like a little mecca of color, really nice. I would really recommend going to Scott's. It's a big old ice factory in the back streets of Margate, but they are the word in 
salvage and second-hand furniture, especially around here, but there's even people that come from London to go there. And there are piles high of furniture, of drawers full of knickknacks, cabinets full of keys, things like that. If you're ever missing a component for something, you get down to Scott's and you find it there. So definitely go there today, that's a must. If you've got a bit of time to get some food today, I'd get to GB Pizza. That's my top place to go when I need to get something to munch on and I need to do a bit of work and I know I can be in an environment where I don't have to be, you know, uh, with a whole crowd of people or sort of eating on my own. It's really sort of like a canteen style. You sit down at a big long table and get some food in there. They do amazing stone baked pizzas. On a sunny day or a cold day, the view's always great and they're really hospitable and it's kind of like my office away from the studio. So I'll come and rock up with my laptop or with my notepad and just sit here for a couple of hours sometimes. And in the evenings, the sunsets are amazing, but you have to come back and watch one of the sunsets for sure. You can't really visit Margate without stopping onto the seafront. We've got some fantastic um, concrete steps, which I know you'll love, and um, they're a great place to sort of just sit and people watch and eat a bit of food and it's like a theatre for the sunset so that's definitely where you need to go if you're here at the end of the day. Um, but anywhere along the seafront as well you can have a little wander in the sand on the beach and also get to any of the arcades or the lovely restaurants and bars on the seafront. So yeah, I definitely head down there as well. You have to come back and make sure you catch some of the sunsets in Margate. They are epic. So out there with a pizza, watching the sun go down, it's like a theatre, it's amazing. We'll definitely do that tonight. Yes. Yeah.